Could the 400 million year old horseshoe crab play a role in COVID-19 vaccine development? Patty Woodruff says thanks to the reagent made from the blood cells of the crab that reacts to bacterial toxins, the vaccine could actually be made available sooner and be safer. Their blood has a really primitive immune system to it and they, they naturally produce these amoebocytes that it's, it's just a cell that reacts to um, bacteria in their system. Dr. Jim Cooper, who's been working with the animal since the 70s, says as we get closer to a vaccine, it'd be realistic to test hundreds of millions of doses quickly and efficiently. Having the reagent so plentiful and already knowing how to test vaccines, we can have a lot of confidence that there will be no uh, toxic materials, at least from the uh, bacterial side, uh, in the COVID vaccine. And it's not just horseshoe crabs. This is a uh, syringe needle that we use for drawing blood. Dr. Bob Bayer, lead scientist with Lobster Unlimited, says blood from the crustacean is an antiviral with anti-cancer properties. It just seems like this is something that should be tested uh, to see whether there's efficacy uh, against the COVID virus. While Dr. Christine Metz with Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research hasn't heard much about the implications of lobster blood, she says horseshoe crab blood has been used in the medical world for decades. This is an important component to make sure that this vaccine is safe. And I think the world and the American public would want a safe vaccine. After blood is extracted from the horseshoe crab, they're promptly returned to the water. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.